So um, part of the reason why I wanted to start recording even before I picked the goddess that we're going to be working with for the next week um, is because I had something arrive in the mail, well, ordered on Amazon, to tell you the truth. Um, and I wanted to share it, especially for those of you who are also doing the OM meditations. Um, so this just came in, if you can see. Can you see it uh, there? So it's the OM Grove Coloring Book by Yuri Leach. And I love his work. I did not realize that he has this <clears throat> all in one. Let me turn off this light so that it's not quite so blurry. So he does you see birch and it shows you how to draw it. It gives you some simple motifs if you are not confident in your drawing abilities, if you wanna just give a sense of what birch is and obviously you can color it. He also has some of his um, print. So that's Ellen with the birch. Um, and he goes through, he's got some variations also of, um, of ohms. Like where's one? Like this is, for example, if you can see it's like the whole ohm wheel. So they're all there. You can color them. So he does do, you know, each of the trees with little tips on how to draw it, if you want to draw it. So I love it. I just think it's a fabulous other way oops, of um, connecting in with the trees. So I thought I would recommend that. And I think I'm going to start incorporating some of that stuff for myself in um, working with the uh, the trees is we are going through yeah it's so beautiful we are going through the yuri leech um you know sort of the the days of the trees using a whole year to go through the ohm oh no really huh okay let me check and see so i i don't know if people on the um watching the recording can see your uh, your chat, but it's apparently amazon.ca is showing it as currently unavailable, which it's available somewhere because it was just delivered to me today. So um, I'll see if you may be able to order from .co.uk. It may be more for shipping and it will take forever, but you may be able to get it. If not, I will see what I can do from this end if somebody really, really, really wants a copy of it. So I've just given a shuffle. Oh, good. Okay, perfect. Amazon.com has it. How much is it there, Jackie? $26.72 Canadian plus shipping. Okay. That's Maybe not too, too bad, because I think it has to come in from the UK. So depending on how much the shipping is. Okay, so let's just take a breath. Switch gears from trees to goddesses. Have a sense, finger on the pulse of where the group energy is. Who is the goddess? Who is going to guide us through the next week? It is Sophia. Let's see if I Sophia, wisdom. Let me just quickly see if I can get her up on the screen for everybody. Oh. 
Okay. Oh. Okay, excellent. And there she is. So hopefully you can all see that. I need to come back to you guys for a second. Sorry. Just need to do this and then share screen. So, sorry, that's our technical info or our technological sounds. So, just starting to connect in. Oh, <laughs> with Sophia. Sabaduria, wisdom. So, the mythology of Sophia. Um, Sophia in Greek, Hokma in Hebrew, Sapientia in Latin, all mean wisdom. The Judeo-Christian's God's female soul, source of his true power, is Sophia. As goddess of wisdom, her faces are many. Black goddess, divine feminine, mother of God. To the Gnostic Christians, Sophia was the mother of creation. Her consort and assistant, was Jehovah. Her sacred shrine, Hagia Sophia, in Istanbul, is one of the seven wonders of the world. Her symbol, the dove, represents spirit. She is crowned by stars, a Middle Eastern icon to indicate her absolute divinity. Pregnant Sophia, holds out her cup of wisdom to you. It is time to connect with your own deep, enriching wisdom. Time for stillness and introspection. Time to listen to what needs to be heard. And her poem. From the moment you enter till the time you surrender to death. All that you experience directly for yourself. All the burnt fingers to discover the fire is hot. All the falling flat when your reach exceeds your grasp. All the explorations of territory known and unknown, all these are pathways to me. Seek to know, and you are me. Stretch to become, and you are me. The feminine quests for wisdom. The feminine is part of all women, all women are the goddess. All women have wisdom. All women are Sophia. Breathe into that space. Breathe deep within. Breathe into the heart of yourself and open to the heart of Sophia, following your breath, 
to the center of wisdom. And open yourself to that connection. Open yourself to a journey or a dialogue or the receiving of insights. Just allow whatever needs to unfold to unfold.
and bring your awareness once more back to your breath. Pay attention to the inhale and the exhale. Allow your breath to anchor the insights from Sophia in your body. And then follow the exhale so that it brings you back into the room in which you sit. Slowly coming back to the here and the now and into conscious awareness. your eyes. And I will share a little first and then I'll close the recording and everybody else come pop on if you want. going to keep myself in the dark a little bit <laughs> rather than move over and turn on that light over there. But um, oh, it's so interesting. I found, I always love the progression of the goddesses. So moving from Water Yashan to, um, to Sophia feels like, you know, moving from that very, to the, the sensual, um, uh, sort of unconscious waters up into something which is very much super conscious, the wisdom. The, the um, light that was around her brow. And yet, the thing that really struck me was, um, you know, even in the, the image of her, the moon across the pregnant belly, and so that, that brought this connection from the stars, you know, to the moon again, this pregnant belly which has those, the living waters that are holding that life. And so even though it felt like it was this sort of higher vibration energy, it still felt like it was connected to what we had experienced in connecting with ocean. Um, I was very aware, especially in the poem when it was you know, talking about her wisdom, you know, that all, all women are the goddess and have this wisdom and, um, and how my experience has been that that is not how many women that I meet experience themselves, that there is a disconnection with the experience of self as being a reflection of or the embodiment of the goddess. There's a disconnection with that sense of the innate wisdom that we carry within us. And so I just had that sense in the meditation of of the strength of Sophia saying that, you know, this is not some women, this is all women. All women have this wisdom within them. And And it was this sense that the, the wisdom is the ability to still honor the, the truth of the, the experience of the body, right? That wisdom is not knowledge. Wisdom is not the knowledge that's carried in the head because the knowledge that's carried in the head is disconnected from the heart, 
it's disconnected from the wisdom of the body. It sort of uh, reminded me of that, um, of this, the story, you know, was when that was sort of what was guiding me of, um, of Solomon with the, the two women who come before him with the baby and they both claim to be the mother and they both want the baby because it's, you know, they both say that it's their child and, um, and he said, well, that's fine. Just, you know, cut the child in two. Then you get half, you get half, you're both a mother. And the one woman says, no, 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 she can have him. She can have him. And he says, that's the mother, right? Because that wisdom, it's not sort of cut and dried like that. It's like the heart is where the true wisdom lies. If, if knowledge does not take the heart into consideration, then it is going to get pulled off base. It's kind of the sense that I had. And so, so this, um, this true wisdom is what we know in ourselves more so than what we know in our heads and to be able to honor that. So I will reflect that um, image out and, and thank everybody who is watching the meditation from the recording um, and just the blessings of the wisdom of Sophia on you. And I will say goodbye to the recording. <laughs>